All right, welcome to Gare Games. We're going to answer a question by one of our viewers. Uh, what sort of applications are commonly made with C Sharp slash .NET? And so this viewer, she asks, I use C Sharp .NET Xamarin for an app I made for my senior project, but I self I just you know self taught it for that specific project, and now I mostly work with Java. So this question is a good question. The idea is, why 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 learn C Sharp, you know, or what's what's C Sharp used for? Oh boy, C Sharp is used for so many things. Um, C Sharp's used by integrated systems. C Sharp is used by web applications, or web applications are made with C Sharp. Uh, you also have customers making, um, oh, I have some customers making web application, or I'm making web applications. Um, there's a lot of like communication between big companies, you know, ETL stuff happening in C Sharp. Um, all of it integrates with Azure, so it's, it's a big deal. And then one of the, the big things which is popular on uh, Twitch and, you know, just in general is the Unity platform itself, game development. Unity uses C Sharp. And then another one is Godot. Godot also uses C Sharp. So with all that stuff together, you could say, you know, there's a lot of options or a lot of things you can use it for. Now, to get to the specific question, what is, you know, a type of application that's commonly made with C Sharp? We've got uh, desktop applications because of the UI features that come with C Sharp. For example, uh, if I were to jump in and start a new project, here we go. So I'm just going to go over this quickly. So what we got here is one of the use cases. I want to show you how easy it is to get started making a desktop application with a UI. So let me see here. I believe it's in here. It should be it's not console. One of these. I've done this before. I just I just forget the name. Um, I will find it. It might. I think that's Windows Form. They have they have a couple versions of these, and honestly, I've I've not I've not really deep dived into the differences. But I'm used to um, forms, so I'm gonna do that one. Or no, not forms. Forms app. Okay, so this is not a web app. This will be a desktop app. And just with C Sharp, you jump in. And the first thing they give you is this designer. You run the pro project, and bam, you've got yourself the start of your desktop application, you know, looking like a real Windows application. And then you can just go in here and open up the toolbox on the left, right? So open this up, and you start dragging stuff in here, right? You put in a button, checkbox, combo box, date time picker. You could put in a picture box, which I mean, I have to put in a picture, but we're not going to do that. We don't want a text box. Yeah, maybe we'll add a tool tip to the button. There we go. All right, we'll save that, run that. And boom, now I've got an application with drop downs, a little bit of input, checkbox. You see how, how quickly one could go and get into this stuff? So that's, that's one reason why it's, it's considered useful. Um, and, and why you commonly see people making desktop apps with it. Another reason why, or now a different avenue would be web apps. Well, it's, it's crazy, but web apps, you, you literally have templates from Microsoft to make a web app. And you can, you, you can use a lot of these. I'm not going to go through each one. But the web apps are similar in some ways, but but may even require more. For example, you can do one that is working with Angular, right? So you could do ASP.NET Core with Angular. And what this will do is a, it'll give you an API and it'll wire that up with, you know, Angular. Angular, what is Angular, right? So we could really go down a rabbit hole with Angular, but we're not going to do that. Because it's not exactly important for answering the question, what types of applications are commonly made with c -sharp .net? Desktop, web applications, APIs, those types of things. So I'm going to run this, and what will happen is it will it'll bring up a website. 
and you'll be able to click through and all of that's templated automatically made for you and then you can add things using angular which is not exactly drag and drop it's a little bit more work so it's still building um, so let's get let's wait for it to uh, you know finish okay so it's it's now it's built and uh, let's see it should be giving me the little IIS express thing so let's wait for that okay here we go so we're gonna skip this because we're not live on the, the web here okay so this is going and this will then become an angular app because of the spa proxy I've, I've made apps using this and you know I kind of like separating uh, the angular aspect from the API but you can use this to get started um, and so that's that's kind of the, the quick here, let me do this. so here we go we got our, our hello world application it's a web app so that's the kind of the second big thing that's made with unity unity is web apps and you know they they all seem to start similar path where they use something like this and they combine it with the database and then they they go further and further um, so here the counter will increment and you go away from it come back and it's back at zero but the fetch data comes from a persistence layer no not really it comes from the API so you jump in here and you see what's going on right in here you're gonna have your controllers you're gonna have the weather forecast controller a lot of this stuff so for me if you wanted to learn about this stuff I'd have to make another video specifically about deep diving into web applications and there's a lot to it but if you're gonna to want to make if you want to make web applications you really just got to pick something and pick something that's well known if you're not wanting to go to the obscure route pick something well known stick with it for a while like a year and just just keep making stuff with it um, and sometimes if, if it's if it's okay you know just just get a job as a junior dev and you'll learn all this stuff I have over 10 years of experience in web applications specifically on a .NET platform and it's really easy once you get into it but you know if you try to eat the whole frog at once you're gonna you're gonna regret it so take it piece by piece okay and then the last one is Unity. So I'm not gonna load up Unity and show off Unity, but the last big thing that I've seen it used for is, you know, Unity, game development. So there we go. And uh, thanks for checking this one out. And uh, until next time, that's, uh, that's for that short video. Thank you and see you in a bit.